local design process basically starts with um, a big sheet we keep of brainstormed ideas, which eventually evolves into uh, the final list of levels and descriptions. And with this one, levels and what uh, dynamics we use in every level, description of level, ideas that worked and didn't work, hey, didn't use, let's use it in the future. Um, so it kind of starts with, uh, I call it writing a thesis, write a thesis, what do you want to get across the level? Um, and so at that point, I like to stop and, and Dave and I discuss the thesis level, hey, is this a good idea, is there more to explore, is there something else we can put into it, is it too much for one level, too little? Um, then we kind of sketch up the level design plans, or on the whiteboard. This is what you said in words, and I drew it with pens. Yeah, I, I know, Drew, one piece of feedback. I think I would not have you plummet out the side, at the bottom, rather. They're kind of abstract, but we talk about pacing, and again, ideas that can go through, things that do and don't work. Um, a hidden item placement and things. Um, then we do kind of rough pass of building maybe a third of the level, talk about it again, build out the rest of the level, talk about it again. What I, I think I would get rid of this rescue drop, extend the slash all the way to the top, mm. and keep the force motion camera to push you in it. So you're like, see every moment of, holy crap, will do I, holy crap, will do I, holy crap, plum it, and you got forced out by the camera. So it's this now? I think that's a cool moment. And take the force camera, don't stop it short and let the player decide to hop in, have the force camera, just push on the F in. Right. Then uh, between Dave and I, we do kind of a couple editorial passes. If he builds a level, I do a pass, um, probably several passes of kind of like an email of function notes. He's flying, he's flying, he's flying, jump across. <laughs> All right. Okay. Short enough that yeah. leave it. Spike platforms then. Just out of sight. Yeah. Out no. Sight. Yeah. They'll be in sight. They'll no, come no. up. The death is for falling off the screen. Mm, okay. Then I'll have cliffs. Yeah. The and so then we have a level that is kind of first pass complete. Uh, making bosses is different than making a standard level because. It, for most of our bosses, it all takes place in one place, and so what we're looking for is a higher level of intensity, a higher level of action, and threat. I want to balance a threat level, but a threat level achieved in such a way that even once you know the pattern, obviously it's easier, but it shouldn't be trivial. Once the boss works and the patterns and all uh, happen, there's still a lot of tweaking to speed things up, slow things down, make it harder, denser, lighter, such that um, there's a high level of action and a high level of kind of motion requirement which isn't necessarily a super high level of difficulty, just a constant level of engagement. 